So, hey guys. And yeah, I've been requested in the past to start making some more accessible guides to treasure map. So this time I've done free to play teams for everything. I can't guarantee that I keep doing that. I'll see how it is received and if I feel it's worth it. Like one of the joys of treasure map, in my opinion, is making your own teams. So even if you like some of the teams here, like I highly urge that you look at them from your own box, like you probably have more than free to play units. So you probably want to fit them on the team if you can, especially if it's 1.35 times boosters. Like obviously if you have like the higher boosters, you want to put them in, but even 1.35 times, there are a lot of those that can help. So I highly urge you look at them. But I'll talk more about those units in my second video, which will really be my own teams. But yeah, let's start with the free to play teams and for this radio, she does literally nothing. She disappears the top row by three turns, which means sockets will deal with that. So it's nothing. And she has delay immunity. So yeah, this is my suggestion. Like as you see, the points will be a bit low, but the upside is that it's super fast. So you just use your two super type Luffy to wave clear two stages. Then you use Treasure Map Zoro twice. And then final stage you can use NL. And when he doesn't kill anymore, you can start using, say, NL and Akino and Fuji. So you can use some higher point booster before that. And kill that way. And eventually if you get very high, you can add uh, Raid Big Mom instead. Hmm. Let me remove the filter yeah this one does super much super high damage so i can recommend putting that in eventually if we get there but yeah that's my suggestion you're free to go a higher point route if you will radio is the lowest hp mini boss so i usually try and be, just get them over with as fast as possible okay next we have ace let's see what he does you recommended me, uh, Moria and Perona and T and Boa. Like, I'm not, I can't really agree with the Boa, but sure. Perona and Moria, really good. So they, they make slots unfavorable. Five turns of paralysis, five turns of death up. And yeah, let's look up Moria and Perona does. Yeah, it removes five turns of paralysis, reduces all defense for one turn drastically, and gives a death down conditional. So yeah, they handle everything. And if you put put them on crew, they also have a crewmate ability to handle the orbs. But for a free to play play team, they fit better as captain. So yeah, this team will the way this team works is you just add more damage as you need it. But yeah, Mori and Prona. Handles everything except for the orbs, which Kisaro handles. Makes all type slots matching. And then you can use him on the Nami, who has a high CD, but she'll be ready if you reduce her CD with Kisaro. And she gives core affinity to all units as long as Captain is shooter, which Moria and Prona is. Then you have Carrot for attack and uh, we have this crocodile for shame boost if needed and you can also maybe swap ship i've not counted cd really i think it should be possible depends on this croc yeah he may be not ready then but if you run say or, or jackson then everyone will have guaranteed full board of matching orbs except, except for the nami but you can need first return so yeah, should be a solid team. Moving on to this Luffy. Let's see what it does. Four turns of para. Burn you can ignore. Five turns of attack down. And that's all you have to deal with really. See, so it's made for Croc and Robin. Sadly, they are such a low point boost booster on global. But what can you do? Croc has a really good captain for this. He reduces special charge time by one turn. So with double croc, that's a lot of uh, CD reduction. 
So the croc gives color affinity. I put the weaver on him to guarantee a matching orb. Robin will guarantee matching orb to those around her. You can put another support on her to give her an orb too, like this Frank if you have him. If you put that on her, she gets an orb. There are a lot of options really for what you can put. So yeah, Robin handles the para, gives some matching orbs around her. And they are matching thanks to Sunisha, of course. Then we have this white beard who does the orb boost. Rebecca and Viola sets a shame multiplier, you just need to swap them. And then I put just put Orochi as the attack booster, like he actually removes the para too, so. So yeah, should also be a solid team. Moving on, this might be the more most annoying team I'd say. Like the idea here is that you run double Nami and Sanji. But let's look at what it does first. Some favorable slots. Uh, SFX is removed. Shameful price locked for five turns and special bind on crewmates for seven turns. So yeah, the idea is that you use Nami and Sanji special. Like I have Sora here to ensure they get a TND orb. I don't remember if they can get them matching. Maybe I had another ship in mind, but that Sora can be ignored. But yeah, the main reason I thought about that was because you'll use their switch to make the unfavorable orbs matching. And they do that on Fighter and Free Spirits. So yeah, with this team, which is most of Fighter and Free Spirit, but not NL, he's here for the chain lock removal and also give a chain boost. So you want to always hit first with this NL. So yeah, the problem with this team is that you want to use two Nami and Sanji specials, but it's not always easy to find a good friend captain. So if you want to play it lazy sometimes, you can just put... Let's see, where is there is Garp? You can put Garp here, and that will be enough with one Nami and Sanji special. And you can also put an actual good ca friend captain, like, yeah, I, I don't know anything, like, out of the blue like that. But, yeah, you can put anything you want then, next to Nami and Sanji. Kobel Meppa also gives an attack boost, solid unit. We will remove, the, remove SFX and also speeds it up with the reduced CD which helps Sabo, who isn't quite ready otherwise. And he's here for the color affinity. So yeah, I say it's a solid team anyway. Quite annoying to make the pieces fit, but I think that should be good enough as a basis to build a team. Okay, let's move on to the bosses, and these are so annoying, especially this pudding. Like for this pudding, you just have to run Mihawk, or you sacrifice uh, too much points, like... I haven't really decided how I'm going to deal with this stage myself since I don't have Mihawk. I'm going to decide that the coming day, I think. But yeah, let's see what she does. Makes loss unfavorable. Attack down. 90% for three turns. And then random behavior. And that random behavior is basically a type slot barrier for two turns. Which you have to, or I think maybe it was just one turn. Yeah, I think it was just one turn. But then way you just have to stall that turn, like there's nothing you can do unless you run something to remove the barrier, like the highest booster Sanji. It's basically only the real viable option. Or the uh, East Blue Robin, she's also a good option for that. Otherwise, you can also try and use barrier pen units, like we for law in particular is good against that. That's my plan at least. But for free to play, it's much better to run Mihawk, so just stall out that. And then the fifth battle is kind of weird because you get five turn paralysis only for the middle right unit. That's just so dumb. And then you get five turns of reduced damage taken and damage threshold. 
So yeah, for this team on sta stage four, you stall out a turn, then you use Neptune, you try and get matching orbs. So you fish a bit, then you take out the fourth, the first boss, and then you move on to the final stage. You can also use this kid on the fourth stage, especially if Neptune isn't ready. Kid can have seen up. Kid is just here really for his very high captain ability. It's 3.75 times, that's really good. Also makes strength beneficial, which is useful. So yeah, kids have speed up, high captain ability. You can use him and Neptune against the first mini boss. And then we move on to the final boss, we have used the rest. We have Vivi to ensure kid gets a matching slot. And then you can use... I messed up there. You can't use kid first stage because you need him for the threshold removal. So kid removes three turns, Bua removes the remaining two turns and she also gives a death up conditional which works because the boss only has the lame unity and we still have orb boost from neptune which works for page one neptune and mihawk page one just gives a chain lock so he's replaceable if you need some more help with Stage 4, for sure. And Sanji reduces CD for Kid. He also makes all type slots beneficial. And also the color affinity. So yeah, he does a lot. He's super good for this one. So yeah, that's just my additional days. As you see, there are room for improvement, for sure. So I definitely change this team depending on what other boosters you have. This is just something to work with to build your own, own team. Okay, let's look at Invasion. So int units get 10 turns seed reduction. And the first barrel changes slots to empty, binds top row, and delay immunity. So we need to remove two turns of bind. Oh, I mix. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I mixed up stages, but it didn't matter. Yeah, I was thinking about this stage that, yeah, Soba doesn't do the, he does the reduction, but it's not needed. It's this stage where his seed reduction is useful. But, yeah. So, special reverse on top, despair on top, and then chain mill pro growth rate for five turns. So, yeah, this is a lot easier, this battle. The most annoying thing with this spell is, in my opinion, is the empty orbs on the mini boss, and we're going to use Carrot for that. She gives us an attack boost, and then we have Wanda, who sadly is a bit random with the slots, but it's the best option, I feel, anyway. We also have the Pudding to give some more damage with the Chain Lock, and she also removes the Bind, so we're stuck with that. And we'll also have the Frank Captain Law. He's the best for this. Definitely use Law for the Invasion. Mihawk for the final boss. So we can use Law this stage. We can use the Carrot. We can use the Pudding. Just remember to use the Carrot first because you also want to use her the next stage. Since she has a Sailor to reduce CD. When Int units use a special. So yeah, that's the plan. Carrot, then Law, then Pudding. Kill the boss, move on to next stage, and we have, you can even use this kid, to be honest, to get some extra damage. Move on to next stage, and then we'll have Soba for the color affinity, for the mat for more matching slots, page 1 for the chain lock to over override the uh, uh, decreased chain, multiplier, chain growth rate. And yeah, that's all we need. We'll, we'll have carrot ready again, so we'll have chain lock, attack boost, color affinity, the orb boost from law. So yeah, should be a solid team. But yeah, this is what I managed to make out with free to play teams. I don't usually make free to play teams for this, so 
Let me know what you thought about that. Later today I'll upload another video with my own teams. So yeah, feel free to give that a look too. Hope this was helpful. See you next time.